Number 76. Which feature of a Lewis structure can be used to tell if a molecules or ions, electron pair geometry, and molecular structure will be identical? Okay, so this one is a clear cut, I would say, theoretical and kind of memorization problem, right? There's only one certain instance in which a compound or a molecule's electron pair geometry, I'm just going to say EPG, will equal the molecular structure. There's only one instance. When this is the case, structure. This only exists when the central atom, so whatever your Lewis structure is, the central atom of that Lewis structure has zero lone pairs. And that means that there's absolutely no dots in the central. So for example, if I look at carbon tetrachloride, which is CCl4, the Lewis structure should be carbon in the middle surrounded by four chlorines. Just for simplicity purposes, I'm not going to put the lone pairs around each chlorine, but just know to satisfy the octet, you have three uh, lone pairs around each chlorine. But if you look at this carbon in the middle, remember a central atom is the only one that will dictate what the molecular structure is for a compound. Now, if we look at this carbon, this carbon has technically four things around it, right? It has one bond here, another bond here, another bond, and another bond. That's technically four things. And how many lone pairs? None, right? So zero lone pairs. No dots here, right? I don't see any dots around carbon. So the number of electron pairs represents the total amount of things that the central atom has. So whether you have two things around the central atom or three or four, five or six. So that's how you know what row you're going to be in. You look at how many total things are going on and that's what this represents. And now zero lone pairs would tell us we have four total things, zero lone pairs. This molecular structure will be tetrahedral. And it's only in, if I can just highlight this, it's only this column in which your electron pair geometry, your EPG, will equal the molecular structure because they have zero lone pairs. But when I have lone pairs, one lone pair all the way to four lone pairs around the central atom, that's when your electron pair geometry would not equal the molecular structure. So for example, going back to carbon tetrachloride, the electron pair geometry would be tetrahedral and also the molecular structure would be tetrahedral. But now let's take, for example, I'm just gonna write it up top here. Let's take, for example, water. Water has a Lewis structure like this. It has two bonds and two lone pairs. But if you look around the central atom, there are technically four things. There's two bonds, one, two, and two lone pairs. So there's four things total, but there's two lone pairs. So in this case, the electron pair geometry is always going to be the one that is when you have zero lone pairs. Since there's a total of four things, we're still in this category, and the electron pair geometry for H2O would still be tetrahedral because electron pair geometry is always what it would be when you have no lone pairs. However, the molecular structure or the molecular geometry, you would have to follow the bigger box, the one that's outlined in green. And in this case, since oxygen has two lone pairs, its molecular structure would be bent or angular. Usually we just say bent. So that's the difference. So what feature of a Lewis structure can be used to tell if a molecule's electron pair geometry and molecular structure can be identical? The feature basically is, is whether the central atom has lone pairs or not. And that's it. If they don't have lone pairs, then they would be exactly the same. But if they do have lone pairs, then the two, uh, you know, 
identifications would be different. And that is the answer to 76. All right. So this one more theory, but it's really important to understand the theory behind chemistry because that will actually help you out a lot when you're doing problems. So without theory, it kind of gets a little muddy. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for staying to the end. If you want to help the channel out, you can click subscribe. That will help us out a lot. And I thank you so much for that. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I hope they're helping. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Have a great day.